Welcome. In today's video, we're going to go over a piano lesson on how to play a major seventh chord. Let's get started. So a major seventh chord is built by taking a major triad and adding a major seventh interval on top. For example, here's D major. To find a major seventh interval, you go up one octave from your root note and then down a half step. So our root note is D. We go up one octave to the note D and then down a half step to C sharp. From D to C sharp is a major seventh interval. And then we add the note C sharp to a D major chord and we now have D major seven. So here's D major, D major seven. Let's look at another example. Here's the chord A flat. To find the major seventh interval, we use the same process. Our root note is A flat. We go up an octave to A flat and then down a half step to the note G. From A flat to G is a major seventh interval and we add that to an A flat major chord and we have A flat major seven. So here's A flat and here's a flat major seven. And to show how easy it is to plug these chords straight away, we're gonna look at a very simple progression example. We're gonna take our tonic again of D major. We're gonna to go to E minor, our two chord, G major, our four chord, and A seven, our five chord, and then back to D major. So here's here it is again. Very simple. Now we can take that and add in our major seventh chords. So instead of D major, it'll be D major seven. And instead of G major, it'll be G major seven. So here's what it sounds like. And you can start taking these chords and making them more interesting. It doesn't always have to be just straight held out notes. You can, you can ar arpeggiate it however you'd like. And if you're wondering how a major seven chord gets its sound, the secret is that it's actually a minor chord combined with a major chord. And to show that, here's D major. Here's D major seven, but here's F sharp minor. Notice that D major seven and F sharp minor, these notes in the right hand don't change. That's because a D major seven chord is a D major triad with an F sharp minor triad. That's what gives it that melancholic sound. So if you're ever listening to something and go and think to yourself, well, that sounds kind of major, but also kind of minor, it's probably major seventh chord because it has both a major triad and a minor triad in it. And that's it for today. We went over just the basics, but there's so many ways you can play major seventh chords. I just showed you where the seventh interval is the top voice, but you don't have to play it like that. You can, you can put the seventh in the chord wherever you want. It doesn't have to be the top voice, but just for the purposes of this video, that's what we went over today. I hope this helps you in your songwriting process, and thank you for watching.